Yo, hello and welcome to another video. It has been a while and in this one, uh, what do I want to talk about? I don't even know, right? <laughs> Let's cut this out. No, actually we don't cut this out. Um, I was two weeks ago in a lot of trouble. Yeah? Like, um, I think pictures say more than a thousand words. Yeah, this is how we say it in Germany. So let's see. Um, bop, 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 bop. There we go. I tweeted about this. Um, February 12th. What do we have now? 27th. That means uh, that was 15 days ago. Yep, 15 days ago. So my token, no, my game time was about to run out. Yeah, nine days to go. And a few months ago, I promised myself that I will never pay for World of Warcraft game time again. So, um, the thing is, I haven't played in a while. Yeah? I haven't played for like, I don't know, three months or whatever. And I was completely broke because I, like in game, like in real life probably too, but in game and, uh, I bought like tokens and then I quit playing, you know, so my game time just ran off and I didn't have any gold left. So I had like nine days left to do something. And fortunately I've made a video before you find it on my, um, YouTube channel, I guess, um, yeah, where I offered a lot of solutions, yeah, many solutions what to farm and all that stuff, you know, like high value farming and so on. I won't repeat this now, but. I went back to this video, yeah, title is how I play World of Warcraft for free, or, yeah, I think so, or, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, if you, if you type it on, on the search bar in, in YouTube, I checked it, it won't come up, let's, let's check it out, I'm pretty sure it won't come up, um, how I play World of Warcraft for free, um, bop, 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 bop. There you see it it's not there it's not there but uh if you put it in what is it um in quotes yeah then it searches for the exact title there we have it yeah so this one is uh yeah, it's pretty long but in this video i uh basically tell about everything i'm doing or i did back then but and i went back to this video yeah to get some inspiration what i'm basically doing here and i checked out what what kind of stuff still works yeah i play on mirage raceway which is um a pretty dead server let's say it that way but it's not t totally dead yeah it's like imagine a box fight yeah and mirage raceway got hit yeah and is on the ground right now yeah is on the floor the ref is counting yeah on hard side the top guilds they all transferred away to gehenna's like over the last expansions um on alliance side the top guild quit the second guild uh, stopped um raiding yeah until cutter classic comes out and the only good guild not good guild the only good raid we have right now is uh, i believe a gd gap p raid from a player that usually plays on gehenna's so we are basically uh, yeah this is this is basically a colony of gehenna's right now yeah we have no quality left and I uh, don't raid anymore as well, at least for now. But um, I wanted to keep my options open. Yeah, I wanted to keep my options open in case, uh, yeah, maybe Cataclys Cataclysm Classic uh, might be something for me. Yeah, has good memories, was probably my um, most successful expansion over the last 18 years and um yeah we will see how this goes right but then on the other hand uh i already know that the feelings won't come back you know it's or the the other yeah, the feelings basically yeah it's it's a different time everything is nerfed we play with the latest patch and all that stuff everything is min maxed and but still it might be an opportunity but what i want to say is the server is perfect yeah why is the server perfect if it's knocked down yeah not knocked out yet um popularity is not not dead yet yeah there are still people that want to play the game but um it's still low enough that you don't have much competition when you farm and on the other hand there are still people that buy from the auction house yeah and um the farm i focused on 
is one that I could do basically, uh, yeah, on the, yeah, besides doing something else, you know, besides listening to music and all that stuff, I don't really care about farming, yeah, I don't really care about the farming. Let's jump in game, yeah, that I can tell you exactly what I'm doing here. Um, I don't want to repeat myself, so I only do, like, one farm basically yeah like i did the others as well like i, I did everything in the video um and added even um the 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 windy clouds in nagrand as well yeah which you can um do with the, with the engineering stuff and that um yeah what is it called here is that the zap throttle mode extractor as yeah? a quest in sangamash and then you need like yeah, engineering and then you get that quest and the gg um but this is something that uh, sells really slow, you know, like um, the primal air and all that stuff. So I really focus on something that I can flip really fast. Yeah, if you need gold really, really fast, in this case I had nine days left to farm a token. Um, just spoiler, I farmed like two already and I don't spend much time, yeah. I don't spend much time. Um, I just do it like when when i can and you might think ah yeah of course he is going there at 5 a.m whatever yeah the thing is i'm working right now i do a lot of training every week you know like every day basically like five four five times a week so this is an hour and uh also taking shower and all that stuff afterwards and eating and so on you know eating is a lot yeah if you want to build muscles and so on yeah lost 60 kilograms over the last i don't know like from march 2022 to like november 2024 2023 we are not november 2024 yet so i don't know yeah so i'm i'm a really busy person these days so i don't have much time and i know already yeah there are people out there that might come out yeah but you spend so much time in, in grinding and farming and all that stuff and you could work you know it's more efficient to to work and all that stuff but let's be honest yeah if you work a lot and you want to get, yeah, if you are broke in-game and you are broke in real life, you don't want to spend money for World of Warcraft, you know? Like, you want to invest it or want to make it, want to use it um, for something, let's say it, more important, yeah, for your future, basically. You want to scale that money. You don't want to buy game time from it. And you don't, can, you can't work 24 hours a day, yeah? I mean, last week, I was awake for like 36 hours. I worked three different jobs in that time. And... I don't know how I did it, but um, I definitely won't pay for this game again. Yeah, so this is this is the naked truth. And what I'm doing here basically is farming the crystallized fire. Yeah, you have the cinder clouds here, yeah, which you can use the engineering item, which I have told you about. And then you just kill all that stuff. So priority-wise, you'd want to do the clouds first. Yeah, if you see it on the minimap, the little dots, the yellow ones, do them first. Yeah, there are two here on this plateau. Yeah, this is winter grass. If you check it out, here's Dalaran. You just fly here and GG. Alliance has it a bit better, yeah, if you get killed. Like, there's always a lot of hordes here that are angry, you know, that their faction sucks so much on Mirage Raceway that they can't raid and all that stuff. Um, as, an, as an Alliance player, you spawn a little bit closer to, the, to these fire elementals. And as a horde player, you basically spawn on the other side if you die in PvP. So... You have three of these clouds. Um, I don't know the respawn exactly, but um, from what I know is that I can farm like up to 15 per hour. But as I said, if I if I farm everything that I described in the other video, which you find on my channel, I've made up to like 2,000 gold per hour. So this is this is kind of crazy, and you can lock through your characters like non-stop. You know, if you have multiple characters, and uh, this is kind of uh, efficient. But to be honest. This grind here, this farm, I don't care about efficiency, yeah? I don't give a shit. I can do it like brain AFK, you know? I can do it while relaxing, while listening to music. And this is the good thing, you know? And the good thing is also, I don't even have to press a button, yeah? My rogue is well geared and I can just run around, you know? I, I just show you. I don't have to press a button. I can just right click the mobs. Yeah. <laughs> they die anyways, yeah? It's totally easy. So you don't have to press anything, yeah? And I can see myself sometimes do video calls or whatever, or voice calls or whatever, to to some friends and all that stuff while farming that shit, you know? 
So you can do this right on the fly and usually what I do like I farm like 20 of them you know and uh, then I call it a day you know like 20 25 that is that is what I do and this is yeah I don't know like one to two hours or whatever but as I said yeah if you have the mindset to go here oh you have to farm it you have to watch the clock you know even worse gold per hour let's do it like this you know here press the stopwatch and so on you put yourself in a in a stressful situation, you know. And as soon as someone shows up here in this area, yeah, and annoys you, you become frustrated. So there's no reason to be frustrated, yeah. This is the easiest farm ever, and I know once I make this video, this farm spot will be so flooded again, especially on the server. It was the last time as well. Also in Nagrand, everything was everyone was busy buying uh, the the source from the Hala NPC. Um yeah, but this is also a thing. Yeah, on Horde side, for example, the greater planar census that I described in the video, like in the other one, um, they sell for like 40 to 50 gold. I mean, what the freaking hell is going on there? Yeah, and this eternal um, fire, this eternal fire stuff here, it sells on Mirage Raceway for like, I don't know, 50 to 60 gold. And so, yeah, this is, this is a lot for doing nothing. So... I do this, um, you know, more as a for relaxation. Yeah, I listen to music. I gather my thoughts after a long day, and this is basically it. And I don't have any responsibilities right now in the game. I don't have any raids. This might change in the future. Yeah, I'm still thinking about um, putting a raid team together for Cataclysm Classic, but I'm not really sure yet because, uh, you know, I'm an ambitious person. So right now, I'm just farming these tokens and i'm loading up my my game time i don't even know if i will play it yeah there's also a possibility to go back to retail i mean i make no secret out of it i'm a little bit frustrated the way um yeah about the culture right now at activision blizzard how games are released unfinished you know everything is a beta basically yeah and then it gets patched and patched and patched and once it reaches probably a, a state of being playable the next thing comes out and we test it again and test it and it takes forever until it gets play becomes playable and this is a never ending cycle yeah you always dream about some quality here but you never get any quality yeah it's always like new things are coming out and everybody is like racing you know like oh we have to play it now it's new it's new it's new but where's the quality yeah where's the quality it's just it's just event management it's just participation and you don't you don't make any meaningful connections. You don't accomplish anything where you think, wow, this was something we put our heads together and uh, this was something big, yeah. Um, one more thing, yeah. Uh, for, for the auction house, I have, I don't even know what the add-on is. I just TP back here that you can see this. Usually, yeah, when I don't do anything, Rogue is, by the way, really good. You can just go into stealth, you know, nobody sees you. You wait here, yeah, you don't have to worry at all. Yeah, if you are on the desktop, you see um, the game will, will blink like yellowish. Yellowish? Yellowish? Yeah, like yellowish. Yeah, like yellow blinking, basically. Like in the taskbar, then you see, oh, you have you have aggro or whatever from a mob. Uh, can happen if it spawns right next to you and you are here. Like in Comet spec, you don't have the stealth. But, um... You can just wait here, you know, and you don't give a shit. You just do something else on the desktop, like writing. Yeah, I write a blog and so on about my body transformation. It will be released like at weekend, probably next week. But I try to release it at the weekend, like yeah, so in a couple of days. You can check out the link in the, in the description. It will be a good read, um, especially if you uh have to deal with like obesity if you are overweight and wonder how to how to lose weight and build muscles and i'm telling you it's easier than than you think as i said i lost like 130 pounds 60 kilograms that is insane uh, i have apps now and life changed completely and i say everything about it yeah in that in that post um but as i said you can do something else you know research learn something on on, on your desktop and then, then tap back in, you know, and suddenly you see, oh, everything is full again with mobs and the, the yellow dots are blinking, yeah, the, the cinder clouds, and you see it's, in, it's the next guy. 
Yeah, these so priority ways you wanna have the cinder clouds and the big guys and then the small ones and like in the in this priority I would bomb this stuff. Um if you play rogue you wanna have double instant poison. Um this gives you the, the, the most uh value or the, the biggest DPS. Yeah, there's no reason to put deadly poison on the offhand, it does no damage. Yeah, it, it stacks up, but uh, it won't tick that much. You you won't get to five stacks. Yeah, so every insta proc from your offhand is worth more. And usually, um, yeah, you should have no problems here farming. The mobs are not that that strong. So I just farm a little bit longer here, like the mobs that are spawning here right now, because otherwise I would waste a little bit if I TP back now. Um, I will also check back in Dragonblade that one spawn point. People miss it a lot here. Like it, it, this is always a noob check, you know. If you if you see it on your server, um, yeah. If if people miss out on that, yeah. If they steal the 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 Thunder clouds here in this area, but not in Dragonblade, you know, they they don't know shit about what they're doing. Um, this is always uh, like, even if they steal it, I can I can smile if I get the other one. Um, all right. By the way, I would be really interested if you play Rather Lich King Classic and where you play, yeah. Just if you if you don't know what to say, if you don't know what to do here, uh I would be really interested what kind of character you play and on which server. Just just type it in the comments. Because I've played a lot of PvP and I'm pretty sure if you play on EU, I have seen you in the battlegrounds because I farmed rank 14 in vanilla and I farmed another 2 rank 12, so I've spent like months in the battlegrounds. I'm pretty sure I remember a few of you guys. So this is it right here. Um, I want to TP back. Um, I think the add-on is called Auctionator, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm not using Auction here, but I will, I will tell you exactly. Yup, this can happen a lot. Like the rocket boots that they're failing. Um, I have my cloak on F5, my boots on F4. So if they fail and I get the cloak, I click the cloak, like the, the, the parachute. I click the parachute away and uh, use the engineering parachute later to waste less time. Um, let's check first what the thing is called. Add-ons. There we have it. Um, yeah, Auctionator. You see it here. This one. Yeah, just get it for classic and then you can go here. To the, to the thing if you have engineer, engineering, which you should have. And then you can just go on selling. And then you just click that thing. And I have it in a way that um, I'm going to put them in uh, in singles. And you see the price right now. There are two in for 60 and the rest are 70. So probably I should put them in for like 70. Yeah, usually I just post them. But since there are only two. Nah, it's already too late, I think. 5 a.m. This would be like evening you know like 23 like 11 11 what is it called 11 p.m 1 a.m i would probably skip this and put them in for 70 but right now it's early in the morning and i doubt that um people that a lot of people will buy now so uh, you you will get a feeling but usually i put them in like this i just post them then post automatically and then i close the game and come back the next day and that's basically it and usually my my mailbox is totally filled by then yeah so this goes like this this sells like hot potatoes yeah i don't know this sells really good and when you are in a situation as i mentioned before um where is it do we still have it i think i've closed it um you know the tweet let me show it again <laughs> then we can there we are yeah if you are in a situation like this then uh right now then this might be a good way to to get out of it yeah so for me, this is like around four tokens per month on average without doing much. Yeah, I'm just doing it on the fly. I don't give a shit. I don't worry about gold per hour. I don't worry about my efficiency. I'm just doing it. And yeah, my uh, my game time is loading up again and uh, I don't pay any attention to it, you know. But I just wanted to share it and uh, perhaps this helps some of you. Um, if not, then check out the other video that I've told you about. Uh, it's on my channel and this is basically it. Yeah. I would like to uh, advertise another video, but uh, yeah, perhaps I will probably do it. Yeah, Perhaps I will do an outro and uh, you will find 
wait a sec, full screen. Yeah, you will find the video somewhere here rotating. Yeah, I will ever put it in sooner or later. Right now, probably not, but um, yeah, I'm on a different path now and there will definitely be a video sooner or later. And uh, yeah, have a great time and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.